Hey everyone, today I've got a product that's a lot of things. It's cool, it's fun, it's brilliantly designed and well made. But it also has a dark side, dangerous tech from a dystopian near future with a user-friendly interface that can let anyone with a laptop or smartphone do serious harm to others. I'm going to set it up, discuss what's awesome about it, what bothers me, and how I think it could be handled better. First. Build quality is fantastic. It's a block of aluminum, very high quality, nothing feels cheap. I will buy from Wicked Laser in the future just based on the build quality here. The app runs on your phone or a computer. It needs to be tethered with a cable, but I can live with that. There is no Linux version which is a, dis which is a disappointment. Once you are in the app, they really give you your money's worth. Just page after page of functions and features. The games are my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of 8-bit games, but I absolutely love the vector graphics aesthetics of the laser Q games. They're basic, but perfect for parties. I could absolutely see pointing this at the side of a building or just handing a sheet between some trees for people to play. There is a great variety included as well. Same with patterns, just a huge number to keep things interesting and exciting at a party. Hardware and software, just top marks for quality and execution. Here, let's take a look with a bit less light so you can see it clearly. So, if you want to use the Cube, of course you have to download the app first. You can download it in Google Store or you can download their PC version from their webpage. So we're in their webpage called Wicked Laser, and then you go to Cube, you scroll down, and you see, you can see, get it on Google Play, download app for Windows, download app for OS, and then below there are a lot of other reviewers have reviewed the Laser Cube. You can go check it out, uh, all right, and then, now let's go to their uh, setup guide. So when you go to the Wiki Laser Star page, they will give you a laser cube setup and operation guide. And then you scroll down and this is their quick start guide. You can also download user manual. For PC, okay, let's open it. I already have the app over here. So you can see they have all this list of the functions that you can use. They have abstracts, visualizers, stencils, animation. They are all about the patterns you can see for no matter for parties at home, a rave party, whatever. You can do tons of things. Um, but first you have to make sure the laser is on. So here in you can see at the corner the laser is on right now. Okay, you can see on the wall I have this giant pattern it's called factual and you can lock the color lock the effect and this is just microphone uh, because you can also use your voice control to control the pattern but that's uh, on the other thing this is I already set the power to 65 because I want you to see better so the power is 65 huge color zoom you zoom in to make it bigger you can uh, enlarge the area or you can make it smaller like this of course if it's this small you cannot see anything so I have to zoom in and make, let you see better so that you can see better circle arc so on the wall you can see it's turning and turning and I will choose another pattern wavy so I just select wavy and now it's kind of distorted and waving on the wall. Color job. They have a huge selection for you to choose. So basically, Koli, on one on this, on this list, you're going to select the patterns. And then on the other list, on the right one, you're going to select how it's going to form its shape and how it will change its shape. Let me show you more like this one looks like all the wave. It's waving on the wall like a strong beat on, on the drums. I can move Gong B 
to the next one to as next order as it can play by orders and you can drag drag them to different orders so dancers that should be interesting <laughs> see okay animation let's see what's in animation oh it's waving money at me right now okay i like this games this should be fun games yes you can play games with the laser cube let me show you how i play games okay laser frog so the frog is me and i have to go 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 oh and you cannot touch you cannot let it hit the boat if it bump into the boat it dies so i go no good no go 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 oh. Okay, now I am jump and jump and jump and jump. Oh shit. So I die, I go back and I go, 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 go. Oh shit. Go, go, go. I don't know how, why I die. So I don't know how to get a higher level because that's the highest I can. I I I I I get. Okay, let's go into clock. Chinese? What does it mean? Oh, they do have it written in Chinese. 1941545556. 3D. What time is it now? Now it's 7:42. Flower. You too subscribers so you can log into your twitch account your youtube account your um twitter account they can connect with it beam show multiple effects let's draw something and see this is what i draw this morning I click it i'm gonna draw maybe draw a small mountain this does not look like mountain at all. And so I draw a little mountain and a walk. So it does come with not just dancing but also music. Let me turn it up. You can choose the mode, you can choose, um, now it's set to staff, you can choose circle. Add. So now it's showing, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. And I can choose random color wave wavy sp spiral smoke okay that is the test test function this video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, or while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Now, on to the tricky bits. Some things are meant to go together, like macaroni and cheese. Some things not, like engraving lasers and visual effect lasers. In engineering and design, there is a class of adverbs called mold adverbs. Mold adverbs do kill people in the real world. Air Interflight 14A went down and killed 87 people because the pilot read the mold on one display wall. I have a link to a whole discussion of this in the description box, Worth a read, it's really good. Mold adverbs are not just an interface issue though. They can be made worse by having a machine with functions that are directly at odds with each other. Like in one mold, 
the laser cube generates beautiful patterns and games you can watch, play and dance to. Change modes and those same patterns will burn your retinas out of your scope and permanently blind you. Yes, you can party or engrave with, this, with the exact same laser, just in different modes. Modes which will never be accidentally changed by a drunk or incompetent DJ like happened in Russia back in 2008 when dirty party goers were 80% blinded by laser accidentally pointed too low. That was 10 years ago, imagine how much smaller and more powerful lasers are now. As is, fresh out of the box, the laser cube is a horrible accident waiting to happen. The next problem is, it's about two steps away from being a whole lot more dangerous. Blinding lasers have been an issue for a few years now. What's been keeping them from a more serious problem is they require a human operator and it's hard to target well with a laser pointer, although it is in still incredibly dangerous and not something to play around with. They've shown up at protests, but so far damage have been minimal. Controlling the beam has always been possible, but it's a few pretty technical steps and not really something the average member of the public will be able to do. Once you have compact, low-cost beam control with an easy-to-access API, that all changes. Ice tracking is just a few lines of Python code and galvos are lightning fast and can be incredibly accurate. You can outblink or outmove them. For $500, you have an immense setup the size of a rice cooker that can potentially permanently blind dozens of people before they even know what's happening. Of course, like many types of weapons, autonomous or remotely operated blinding lasers like this have always been possible. It's just never been so cheap and so short a technical leap. It's also scalable. Want to blind hundreds or thousands? Brand the foreheads of every person at an event with an indelible symbol or QR code in seconds? Just put it on the end of a 100 watt laser tube like this. You can even mount it in your trunk and drive through downtown. With an IR laser, no one will even know what's causing the damage. This tech, made cheap and easy to code, is horrifically dangerous in the wrong hands. I can build it with what I have right here in maybe two days. But it would be pretty reasonable for the authorities to object to me having something like that sitting around, so I'll pass. Targeted blinding lasers are also incredibly difficult to defend against. You've got a bit of a uh, Gordon's head, only you can use a reflective surface. Protective glasses need to be on the same frequency as the laser light and even then can protect against a sustained high voltage beam tracking a single point. Best bet is FPV goggles with a built-in camera pass-through like this and hope the lasers are not mounting on a raising drone or otherwise hard to target. While it seems like something that just in grace wood could not be that harmful, it's technically speaking a very short step. Once you add near perfect automatic targeting, you are dealing with a powerful weapon that violates international agreements for blinding lasers and for autonomous weapons. I'm not anti-gun. They are just a tool with appropriate users and appropriate uses. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Forgotten Weapons because I feel their history holds countless lessons. I think one of those lessons is the use of autonomous weapons and weapons designed to indiscriminately maim like blinding lasers or butterfly mimes that can harm innocent civilians who stumble across them, put you on the wrong side of history. Proliferation and development of this should be something we all agreed on. As far as what's on my table right now, the laser kill as is, what can be done about it. At absolute minimum, I would want to see a passive IR sensor on the front of the laser queue to prevent beam activation when people are in the beam path. The Xiaomi laser projector has this feature. Even still, who can blame wicked lasers for combining a bunch of cutting-edge technologies and trying to sell an innovative product? Lasers are getting cheaper. Gavels are getting cheaper. Code to control this it's getting so simple a child can get eye tracking up and running in an hour. That's no one's fault. You can't put the genie back in the bottle, 
But when developing new hardware with such destructive potential, it is vital to be conscientious. I'm delighted by the build quality and the play and party modes of the Laser Guild, but horrified by how little thought went into making it safe. I would love to see Wicked Lasers go back to the drawing board, make something of this quality, but single mode, safe for the consumer and with some reasonable steps taken in hardware to make misuse more difficult. That's it for today. What do you think? Is the laser cube safe? If not, can it be made safe? Autonomous blinding lasers, are they a threat to public safety? And how would you handle it? Let me know in the comment section. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's not always a good thing.